Record high prices at the pump. More and more gas stations in the state now charging $5 a gallon. The average price for a gallon of regular is now at $4.92 here in Connecticut. That's nearly 25 cents higher than a week ago. The national average is $4.91. Just keeps going up these days, yeah, that's does. for sure. Channel 3 Hartford Bureau Chief Aya Galal is live right now in Rocky Hill. Aya, any relief maybe in sight here for some folks? Oh, Mark and Aaron, sadly, things are going to get worse before they get better. And this mobile gas station here in Rocky Hill is one of many in the state now charging more than $5 a gallon. In fact, some experts say $6 a gallon isn't too far off and prices will remain high throughout the summer. Shock. Absolute shock. Wasn't this way over a year ago. Jim O'Neill is feeling the pain at the pump and high gas prices are turning into a major speed bump. This just ruined my plans for retirement and travel. The retired veteran says it's becoming difficult to keep up with the cost of living. You can't budget and especially with me being on a fixed income with Social Security, uh, VA compensation. More gas stations in Connecticut now charging $5 a gallon for regular gas. I don't know, but if you look over there, you're probably in a heart attack. So I actually come before I even hit low because I don't want to feel so guilty about getting the gas. Experts say we've got to buckle up because it's going to be a while before prices fall. I think there is a very high probability that gas price in Connecticut would uh, hit about $6 a gallon. And I am also afraid that it would uh, continue to remain so even beyond the 4th of July. Mohamed Ilahi is an international business professor at Quinnipiac University. He says the war in Ukraine and increased demand during the summer months are among the factors contributing to the high prices. In the meantime, he says consumers should be careful about how they're spending money. My advice to consumers would be to uh, spend based on their ability, stay within your means. And experts believe that by the middle of fall, prices will drop but still remain high through the end of the year. Now, coming up tonight on Eyewitness News at 6, we're going to have more on what the governor is saying about gas prices in Connecticut. Reporting live in Rocky Hill, Channel 3, Eyewitness.